turning back to weather now, we want to check back in with Lizette Gonzalez. Uh, you've been saying all morning long that we're going to see some things calm down a little bit, but it's still going to be wet out there. Yes, in fact, even outside my house in the backyard, we had some gusty downpours sweep through, and that's why I decided to stay inside today for my weather cast. But we are dealing with some scattered showers and storms. Nothing as widespread or as intense as yesterday when the rain was just so heavy and just persistent all day long. So as we look from our Broward camera in Fort Lauderdale, you'll notice it is cloudy, but the sun is trying to break through there, and Key West is looking a lot better than yesterday. I can tell you that much, but a flood watch has been extended until 8 p.m. this evening because we're expecting some more showers and storms as we head into the afternoon and into the evening and any additional rain could lead to some more flooding because the ground is already saturated. Looking at the satellite and radar, you can see the, over the past three hours, we have had some storms and showers across parts of the Keys, Southern Dade County, and even in Broward County. Looking at the radar, though, a lot of the action is over the Atlantic waters. That's where the bulk of the precipitation is, uh, but still dealing with some rain here and there across parts of Coral Springs, Fort Lauderdale, as well as near Dania Beach earlier. The shower is moving pretty quickly, and we also have some showers around Miami Beach, Key Biscayne. At least we're not seeing any heavy, heavy rain right now at the moment. Coral Gables seeing a shower, Palmetto Bay, Cutler Bay, and that's about it for now. And the wind is out of the south about 8 to 14 miles an hour. Winds gusting as high as 23, even 30 miles an hour earlier. Temperatures rain cooled in Miami Dade right now, mid to upper 70s there. However, where we haven't seen as much rain, it's warming up to the upper 80s in Fort Lauderdale and Pompano Beach, mid to upper 80s down through the Keys. And as we take a look at the disturbance, the upper level disturbance that's led to all the wet and wild weather the past few days for us, there is a chance of low pressure development along this trough. And the Hurricane Center is just giving this a 20% chance, a low potential of tropical cyclone formation due to the upper level winds. But either way, it is continued to expect it's expected to continue moving to the northeast and away from the east coast of Florida. For us today, highs in the upper 80s, and we're going to see a couple of storms that could turn strong as we head into the afternoon. Even that's what the models are indicating, although you'll notice that some of the heaviest rain is likely going to be offshore. But as we get into the evening commute around 5 to 8 p.m., could be pretty active. So make sure you stay tuned to our chief meteorologist, Craig Setzer, as it looks like he's going to be busy again. It's been a busy past few days tonight could see some spotty storms but then we'll start to wind things down low 70s small craft should exercise caution the good news is as we head into your wednesday tomorrow and thursday more of a typical summertime pattern some spotty storms in the afternoon highs in the 90s upper 80s into the weekend we could see some more moisture on the way francis